I am going to demonstrate you how to intubate a anesthetized patient. So this is a 42 kg uh, bull mastiff dog. It is basically having the problem of intestinal obstruction. So for intubation of the, this dog, uh, we select uh, this 10 mm internal diameter curved into tracheal tube. So we have already applied the lignocaine jelly at the tip, at the balloon. So for the intubation, we keep the neck straight and one assistant pull the upper jaw and then with the hand we pull the tongue and then we pass the endotracheal tube. It is basically the convexity of the endotracheal tube which should be towards the hard palate and short palate. So we reach up to the, you can see here this is the epiglottis, this is the epiglottis. So we pass touching to the short palate and then we simply with the help of the tip of the endotracheal tube we press the epiglottis and then gently insert the endotracheal tube into the trachea. So the position of endotracheal tube itself indicated that the, it has gone into the trachea not into the esophagus. Esophagus is basically dorsal to the trachea. So whenever it will go into the esophagus the position of endotracheal tube is not like this. And for the confirmation we just press the cancer for X and just keep here. So definitely there is a uh, can say expiration. You can feel the can say air here. And then after that inflate the cup with the 10 to 15 ml uh, 10 to 15 here. This is very important because if you not inflate the balloon, what happen? So whatever the tracheal secretion, it will go into the trachea and ultimately reach to the lungs and may cause the bronchitis or you can say uh, pulmonary disease. So, so this is how we intubate the endotracheal tube in a anesthetized dog. Thank you very much.